Well, I started working on uh, a sardine can sculpture. Uh, it's been a while since I've um, actually done anything on on the sardine series, but um, I started working on this one again. Um, what I've added since the last time is I've added uh, this eye piece in the middle. I've added this key. Um, I've added this barbed wire crown of uh, thorns, so to speak, and just a rose piece that I've made. And I've also added this bottom piece here. And I think I put the and the wings on. That's what I've added. Um, now this key on here is not actually a real key, even though it looks pretty. It looks pretty good. Uh, a week ago, I ordered a bunch of stuff off uh, the internet. Um, off an Etsy site and these are all pieces that have been they're cut out of wood they're, and they're laser cut and they look like bits and pieces um, I ordered a bunch of these keys um, and I'm pretty happy with how they look they're, they're all different types of keys um, and I thought I could add them to sculptures and stuff like that even uh, little clock faces watch faces, or well, not watch faces, the workings of the uh, lock. Lock? Clock. What a crock! And I also ordered some old typewriter keys, which are great. And also a bunch of these types of little things to put on, I don't know, anything. I don't know what I'm putting them on, but I thought they were cool. The tap's pretty good in the sink. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't know. I'll just sort of give them a try. Show you my uh, two minutes of fame. Um, I'm in the paper today. And, um, yeah. The article's talking about teaching on the internet. Um, and basically the article's saying, you know, because I live in the middle of nowhere, it doesn't mean that you, you know, you're limited um, because of the internet now. And, you know, you can... You can still do stuff. So, so it's a, yeah. So the article is just all about me, my teaching on the internet, YouTube, and how you know you can actually you know promote yourself. So that's pretty cool. Um, I thought I'd show you what I'm working on on this big painting. I sort of showed you a bit of it the other night. Uh, this will be a work in progress, that's for sure. Now what I've done is I've just started to come back and paint more white over the top to strengthen it. Because I want to have different tones of white. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this area. I think I'm... I'm I don't know. I like it. I like these bits. But I don't like it as a composition. And I'm not too sure about this particular shape. Uh, I might make it small. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this shape. I might make it smaller or just, just a different shape. Um, I took the actual image, the original a photo of the, of the actual whole thing when it was like this and put it on Photoshop and then painted out areas of white. Um, so it's a good way to experiment on Photoshop before you actually um, put it on your work. And um, I sort of wanted to create like a vase, like this vessel shape. Um, but I don't think it's exactly how I wanted it. So... I'm going to be working on that. I might even bring the stronger tone of white maybe through the work a bit even. Just bring it in here a bit more and I might paint those out. I don't know, I'm going to leave it. So what I've done is I've just um, painted uh, white over the top around here to sort of make it like a halo effect to create this glowing effect around those two shapes and I've sort of just painted out this middle one and um, so that sort of helps it a bit more um, I'm really liking working with white it's um, it's really freeing I'm thinking I'm going to bring a little bit just here of white. Um, maybe just a, just on the corner a little bit. Wait and see. 
So sometimes you've just got to paint on impulse. Um, taking risks, you know, sometimes the risks are worth taking it and other times, well, you maybe think, oh, maybe not. But if you don't allow yourself to take these risks with your art, then um, you can't really expect to to go anywhere with it. Um, yeah, so I'm okay. I'm pretty happy with how that's developing now. I sort of like the different tones of white that are starting to appear in the work. Um, so we'll just see where it goes from there. So I'm going to paint this a really khaki lime green colour. Um, and you're going, oh, what are you painting it like that colour for? Well, you'll see. You'll see eventually. You might be able to see it now, but trust me. I know what I'm not doing. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want everything to blend together a bit more, so I'm deciding to paint it. There is math method in my madness. So for lunch today we're having hot dogs and I'm working on another sardine can sculpture. Um, I just glued this frame on the front and there's like two faces in there. There's a light source in the middle. It's similar to the mummy one but it's but it's going to be more involved in it. Um, so quite happy with the teeth on it but quite scary I guess somehow. It looks sad and at the same time it looks a bit scary which is what I guess I wanted. Um, so I've just made like a, a bird nest now out of um, barbed wire and just put like some gold wire in it. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a bird nest and the bird nest is going to sit actually on top of the head of this um, I'll sit it into it more and then I'm going to put some eggs in there. So I've made a little uh, green egg for it and um, put it in the nest. I sort of think it looks quite okay. I was thinking of maybe having two but it's quite a big egg so maybe only one. I did make another one um, to fit in there but I'm not sure if two might be too much. Anyway, I just can leave it. I think they're going to shrink a bit anyway. Okay, I've actually changed the design again. I've mounted it onto this this base here. Um, so it actually stands up by itself. And um, I'm going to blend it to be similar colour. And the bird nest is on top. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that so far. Happy with the progress for today.